Welcome to GSR 18, the Global Symposium for Regulators, and I'm here in the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Godfrey Mutabazi, who is Executive Director of the Uganda Communications Commission. Godfrey, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, subjects that have been coming up here at uh, the uh, symposium. How can we protect personal data and enhance consumers' trust in today's data-driven society? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, data protection and uh, the way it is expanding, it's caused a lot of problems now. It's a big issue all over the world, and in Uganda in particular. Uh, and everybody is concerned about it. But uh, as you know, uh, regulation is coming in. Uh, the whole world is getting concerned. And we are trying to see how we can address this matter. First of all, uh, as we speak now, this is what we call a uh, data communication bill, which is in parliament, so that it can regulate uh, the use, uh, collection, and uh, dissemination of data. Uh, it's very, very scary now that, uh, as, as we speak now, We've got about several agencies, maybe five or six, that mention a bit of data, how you can control it and uh, how you can use it, collect it, and uh, process it. But now we are coming uh, to, uh, to, to compress it into one law so that it can uh, be well controlled. And uh, as a regulator, we are assisting the public uh, so that they know the dangers. It's a big issue uh, through uh, SIM card registration, through national identity, passport registration, uh, birth registration, so on and so on. So the government is addressing it through a, co a, a, a sort of compressed uh, regulatory authority that is coming there soon. I understand about being worried about the dangers, but what about the positive aspects of uh, this new technology and these new regulatory frontiers? Yes, uh, of course, uh, make no mistake, we are into a fourth industrial revolution now being driven by data. There's huge data and to plan and execute any program now you need a lot of data. So I it's a positive thing that now everybody is going into data so that it can shape our planning uh, when it comes to manufacturing, when it comes to agriculture, when it comes to education. All those things are driven by, by data. So it's a very positive thing and we're all focused on it and we believe that that's the only way to go. <laughs> yes. How is the 5G era going to affect Uganda do you think? It, well, w we must embrace it now. I've just been in the conference now, and uh, everybody's talking about 5G. Where are the speaking now, uh, 3G has got to take root because uh, the whole nation, well, within three to six months, every site will be 3G and 4G by end of uh, next year. Uh, maybe give it about uh, 18 months. And then 5G, we have to get involved uh, uh, with the industry. Inevitably, uh, it will depend on demand, and uh, we're going to open up the bands, the spectrum, so that uh, we bring it into reality in Africa, because surely we have to go into uh, these sensors we've been talking about, if they're going to be deployed, and it's going to be a trillion sensors in a few years' time. Um, maybe 10% of those sensors will be in Africa, so it will create a lot of employment, a lot of uh, excitement, a lot of development. So we are looking into it, and uh, we are focusing that within a space, six months, we have a position on that. There seems to be a lot more participation of technologists and futurists, etc., in this regulatory frontier. Do you think that that's a good thing? Yes, yes, because you see, uh, amazingly, uh, when we talk about um, artificial intelligence, if you talk about uh, machine to machine, if you talk about Internet of Things, yes, th this is the only way to go, and uh, that's the the language. I mean, all these technologies, they start the way they, these ones have started. They, they discuss, they talk, they, they deploy, but within a few years, they have moved on. Uh, we, we are looking at these technology companies that uh, are giving us new ways of doing business, new way of thinking, new ways of learning. New. So, yes, yeah, a good thing. It's something we are to embrace now and start working on it. It's dynamic, moving very fast, and we have to move fast as an industry. Light regulation, heavy regulation, or, or new regulation? No, we cannot afford to be heavy <laughs> regulation or light regulation. We have to look for a compromise, to be honest with you. And uh, with the new technologies, you don't legislate immediately. You take your time, see how it works, and then you come and do it. You remember when mobile money came, uh, we, we, we waited, observed, before we came up 
with some regulation. And uh, this is what we are trying to do now, uh, looking at the way things are going. What we don't want is uh, technology companies to take advantage of, of us, especially in third world countries. Uh, we want to be together. We want to be a caring technology whereby you involve everybody. We don't want a relationship to be at arm's length. Uh, if the technology is coming to the, these developed countries like Europe and uh, America, let them also know that in Africa there is a potential market and we want to work with the, these technology companies, the scientists, so that we move our country at the same pace. Now you're no stranger to ITU events. How's this uh, symposium been for you so far? Well, this is different because uh, it's focused on new technologies now. We are no longer talking about coverage, infrastructure sharing, all these traditional uh, items we have already discussed. Now we are talking about 5G, Internet of Things, inter artificial intelligence, and uh, well, that's the way to go. We are into the future, and the future is here. Everybody uh, can anticipate the future. Uh, that's one thing I like about this. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. We wish you the very best for the future. And uh, do check out our other videos on the ITU YouTube channel and our podcasts on the ITU SoundCloud channel too. Thank you. Thanks very much.